So where's the learning value? What, are we, what can we really get out of this? Um, I think that uh, if we look at the two styles, the major styles of NLP as, as defined by the Richardisms and the Johnisms, um, what's very important about this is to understand that if we can connect certain styles of NLP or certain approaches of NLP with what we now know about the brain and how it's processing information, I think it's pretty quickly evident that Richard's style, especially as it came into its DHE mode, the, the DHE model, which sees the interface between the conscious mind and the unconscious mind as mediated by, say, an imaginary control panel with dials and, and meters and things like that, where you get something which captures aspect of what's happening in the uh, lower or um, simpler processing stages of consciousness and then feeds that up into awareness as uh, some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, explanatory set of devices that allows the conscious mind to monitor what's happening down at lower levels and uh, lower in the sense of the, the earlier or um, more foundational parts of consciousness that normally don't find their way up into consciousness because consciousness is very involved with the binding problem of creating this unified sense of reality from all these completely discordant inputs that are coming in from everywhere and then saying, well, this is now the reality I inhabit, which is a wonderfully effective illusion. And um, John Grinder likes to uh, quote the research of uh, Libet, Benjamin Libet, I think, who noted that... Um, we're constantly mapping back and uh, assuming that we are conscious, but our consciousness is happening like a third of a second after the fact, and then we kind of back map that bound sense of consciousness onto reality. So actually, we're a little, everything that's going on around us is a little after the fact. Um, what, but Grinder, and he's always been this way, has completely discarded this idea of the interface. And in a sense, Grinder is kind of always been the, the antithesis of DHE, anti-DHE. He wants to remove, in a sense, those intermediating functions and narrow the distance between the very, very uh, primary lower level um, uh, sensoria that are coming in, the qualia and the data that's coming in, and some kind of uh, a final awareness. And so in a sense, our awareness becomes um, simplified and, and very much less full of that kind of Broca's area commentary and simply closer to primary experience. Are, is, are they right? Are they wrong? I think they're, they're both very, very useful, but they're most useful when combined. So uh, let's collapse that anchor. Collapse an anchor, everybody. Um, I think we should go with John fully at that level of gathering in and becoming highly attuned to primary representation and experience. And we should go with Richard and the ideas of DHE when it comes to using the minds that we do have. You know, let's say just because, uh, you know, we have two hemispheres doesn't mean we should discard one or the other because somebody just said so. Use, so use your left hemisphere in, in the Ricardian way of uh, creating sorting mechanisms and creating ways of interfacing uh, leftness and rightness and use John when it comes to perceptual acuity and getting information in. So one is sort of more the, the master of the sorting and one is more the master of the gathering. Collapse them. Put them together. Um, since I do have kind of a limited time per YouTube, I can um, try to squeeze some more thoughts in here. I don't know if that's the best idea. But... Um, so I've been tooling around with sort of what I would say Grinderian DHE. Now I know that's, uh, what do we call that? Uh, Gr John Grinder's DHE. That's uh, heresy. But, and, and interestingly, you notice that heresies, throughout, throughout the history of religions, heresies involve collapsing anchors, okay? And uh, they, when they want to get, keep stuff completely sorted out and somebody comes along and collapse some kind of cultural or uh, uh, faith-based anchor, boom, heresy. So I think, yeah, I've been her heretically combining aspects of DHE and aspects of kind of, kind of the Grindarian uh, know-nothing state, sponge state modeling things and coming up with my own little mojo here, which um, I'll be talking about later. Next. Keep tuned.